Hello. In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1, problem type 1. We're asked to factor 7y squared plus 12y minus 4. And I'm going to do something a little bit different this time, and I'm going to actually show two methods for factoring this. First, I'm going to factor by a method called trial and error. But then I'm also going to factor it by the AC method. And the reason I'm going to do both is I think it's it's a good way to compare which one works best in which situation or maybe one of them that you prefer. So seeing both of them I think will help. I'm going to start with trial and error. And first off just rewriting the problem. I've got 7y squared plus 12y minus 4. Trial and error means that I go ahead and put my two sets of parentheses in and I start trying things. Now for the first terms, I know that when they multiply, I have to get 7y squared. And since there's only one way to do 7y squared with both terms having a y, it has to be 7y and 1y which I'll just make as a one. That's the only combination. If this were an eight, I would have to try eight and one or two and four, but since it's a seven, it has to be seven y and y. But then I look at the last term, which is the minus four, and I have a couple different possibilities. It could either be one and four, with one of them being positive and the other negative, or two and two. So I'm going to have to try both of these, either 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. And as a rule of thumb, it's always best to start with the two that are closest together. So I'm going to start with 2 and 2. And if I put those two values in, I know that in order to get a minus 4, the signs are going to have to be different. But before I do that, I'm just going to look and see what happens when I put those twos in when I do the outer and inner. So for the inner 2 multiplying, that would give me a 2y. And for the outer, 7y times 2 would give me a 14y. In order to get the correct combination, I have to end up from these two terms with a plus 12y. And remember that the signs have to be different. So I have a 2y and a 14y. I can make this one work actually. So if I if I make this a positive 2, then this would be a positive 14y. And I make this a negative 2, this would be a negative 2y. And when I add these two, negative 2y plus 14y, that gives me the positive 12y that I was looking for for the middle term and just checking when I multiply negative 2 times positive 2 that does in fact give me the minus 4 so yes this combination worked if it wouldn't have worked then I would have tried 1 and 4 to see if that combination would have worked so you can see if this 4 were had a lot of different possibilities I would have a lot of different things to try it almost seemed lucky that the first one that I tried worked out, the two and the two. But keep in mind, always start with the ones that are closest together uh, and then move up to try ones that are further apart. But now I'm also going to do this by the AC method. So the AC method, I'm going to rewrite once again, 7y squared plus 12y minus 4. And the AC method refers to the general form of a quadratic. The general form is AX squared plus BX plus C. And so the AC method is named so because we're multiplying the A and the C term to get us started. So if I multiply the A and the C term, then 7 times a negative 4 is negative 28. 
and much like the trial and error method, I now have to list out all of the combinations that would give me a negative 28. So that would either be 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7, and that covers the possibility here for 28. The goal with the AC method is to rewrite this expression, but to rewrite it and replace the middle term, which in this case is the 12y, with two of these values. And remember, our signs have to be different. That's a negative 28 up here. So in order to replace the positive 12y with these and the signs being different, I could do that if this was a positive 14 and a negative 2. So now I can rewrite our equation as 7y squared. And I'm just going to copy these over. If one's a positive and one's a negative, it may be a little easier to put the negative one first. A negative 2y plus 14y minus 4. Now this may seem a little counterintuitive. I had three terms and I've rewritten it as four terms, but now I'm going to group the first two together and then I'm going to group the last two together and factor out the common term from each one. So from the first two terms, I can factor out a y. And if I factor out a y, I'm going to be left with 7y for the first term. And then factoring out a y, I'll have a minus 2 from the second. And then in those last two terms, 14y minus 4, I could factor out a 2 from that. So I'm going to factor out that plus 2. And that would leave me factoring out a 2 from the 14y would give me 7y. And factoring out the 2 from the minus 4 dividing by 2 would give me a minus 2. And if I've done this correctly, the AC method, I should always have the same expression that is in both of these two terms now. And since they both have a 7y minus 2, that means that I can factor out the 7y minus 2. And from this first term, I would have the y left. And if I factored out the 7y minus 2 from the second term, then I would have the plus 2 left. And you can see that by both methods, I ended up with the same expression, 7y minus 2, y plus 2.